Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will talk about homework. One of the um, topics that you ask questions about frequently. We're going to talk about how necessary homework is, how much homework and what kind of homework should we give. Uh, so I will try to um, briefly touch upon these issues. Now, some educators believe that homework fosters independence, self-reliance, self-esteem, cooperation and responsibility, uh, which all lead to lifelong learning. Some educators, however, assert that homework causes more problems than benefits. You can see the cover of a book uh, by Atta Kralov and John Bull here, The End of Homework. When you ask students, of course, they do not like really having any kind of homework. You can see in the cartoon here. They spend a long time at school and when they come home, they really don't want to do any work related to school. Now, the purpose of homework is to practice what has already been learned or and or what is done at school. In other words, you should assign homework that your students fully understand and are able to do by themselves without consulting their parents. The instructions should be similar to the ones that you have used in the classroom. The language that they're going to use should be familiar, uh, should be similar to the one that they have learned in the classroom. There may be some new items, but the child, the learner, the student, whatever you want to call them, should be able to do the homework by themselves. It can be designed, I mean, a homework or a, a, an assignment timing mean, can be designed to challenge uh, students' ability and uh, provide opportunities for creativity, innovation, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but you should know that the uh, your students are able to do this. It, it, some level of challenge is uh, wonderful, but if it is too hard, then it becomes... Uh, exhausting okay uh, the students lose their motivation when they find out that they cannot do it by themselves homework assignment is not a must but if needed the following timetable can be used please keep in mind that these suggested time periods in the figure or in the table cover all of the courses combined. So the best idea is for the teachers of all courses uh, come together and share the suggested time period. Or they can share the weekdays. If possible, Fridays and weekends should be free time for students. Teachers who are teaching different subjects should share school nights and time themselves carefully. For example, the maths teacher can have Mondays and the English teacher can have Tuesdays. For higher levels, teachers can share the same night with careful timing. For example, both the maths teachers, uh, teacher and the English teacher can have Mondays, but the maths homework uh, should be for 10 minutes and English homework should be 
uh, for 10 minutes. You can see the time periods here in the table, okay? If you want to make sure that all of your students do their homework, one, include up to five items in the exam taken directly from the assignments. Two, ask students to prepare something that, will, that you will use in the classroom. Three, make sure that there is some challenge and fun for the students. Now let's refer to another issue under this homework title. How can we check homework and give feedback? Now, if you don't, if you don't check and give feedback, uh, these students will not be willing to do the homework, okay? Uh, ideally, the teachers check the homework or give uh, feedback the following day or the following class. As teachers, uh, we need to check it to evaluate the student's progress and checked homework provides a correct model for students to look back on when necessary. If you're too busy or too tired and you feel that you cannot uh, check the homework and give feedback, then don't give any. Or find a way to involve self-checking and or peer checking under your supervision in the class. But that requires extra time. Don't forget that. If you have time constraints, if you don't want to spare any time for homework checking, then you cannot do this. Self-checking and or peer checking can be a useful part of the learning process for children, I mean for students, as uh, it promotes responsibility and self-esteem. Now, you can check homework in a fun way. Uh, for example, for self-checking, you can show the students the correct answers. Maybe using a projector, you can uh, reflect them on the uh, board and uh, ask your students to check their answers. And if they have, for example, uh, five correct answers, uh, when they are done, they can stand up. Okay, more than five, they can stand up and jump three times, you know, some kind of a physical thing, right? Or they can stand up and put their hand on their head. For peer checking, again, you can show the correct answers and students can switch the assignments, swap them and check each other's paper, okay? Uh, well, of course, meanwhile, you need to walk around uh, to monitor what they are doing. You can also say, if you're going to check the homework orally, you can say, listen to your friend and stand up if you have the same answer. Okay, Or you can say, listen to your friend's um, answer and put a red card up if you believe it's incorrect, okay? Well, of course, they need to have a red card in, in front of them to do this, but um, they can do it. And uh, you can also, you can always say, okay, if it's incorrect, would you like to give your answer? Let's hear your answer, you know, that kind of thing. Another fun way can be telephoning. Well, pretended telephoning, of course, when, uh, well, one student gives the answer and then nominates another student saying, I'm calling, you know, pretending, and I'm calling um, Aisha. And the other student answers the phone and says, right. Well, if they don't believe that the answer is correct, they can say, oh, no, sorry, wrong. I you know, that kind of thing. Well, what do we need to do to reward or punish? 
the students. Related to homework, of course. Well, punishment usually does not give any positive results. So I strongly suggest you stay away from that. The only punishment, if it's called a punishment, can be um, recording it, the lack of homework, I mean, in the chart in student portfolios. As this one is an example, you can just put a minus there, okay? Or no homework, you know, some, some kind of a negative remark. That will be an enough punishment. Likewise, you can record all completed assignments in a chart like this one, and then maybe give a certificate um, at the end of each month, like this one here. Well, depending on the age of your learners, you can design the certificate. This one, of course, is for younger learners, maybe for primary school and middle school. For um, high school students, you may have something more serious. You may also consider giving an award at the end of each term for the students to keep in their portfolios. This award, remember, we are not bribing our students. This award is another certificate. And uh, you can see an example here. Uh, this one is for uh, completing all homework in the uh, uh, mentioned term. Okay. Now, let's talk about some practical tips. When you want to give homework, spare enough time to give the assignment. Do not leave it to the last minute. Because when the students are in a rush, when they want to leave the classroom, when they have already heard the uh, bell ring, they're not going to listen to what you're saying. Okay? A lot give at least the last five minutes, if not more, of class time to going over homework. Okay? If, for example, you have given the homework like... In the middle of the class, use the last five minutes to help students recall the homework, okay? Never allow yourself to just give homework orally. Always write it up uh, on the whiteboard, maybe, uh, no matter how simple it is. If you don't, if you do not write it down, your students, some of your students will miss the homework because some people are visual learners and they cannot just process what they have heard, okay? After assigning homework, it is a good idea to ask your students what they're going to do. So it's a kind of a reporting back. Ask a student or two, uh, what the homework is. Okay, you can say, Selin, what is the homework? What are you going to do? Uh, and get the answer from the student. If the student does not feel comfortable in re, uh, reporting uh, on homework in English, they may um, use Turkish. You, you, you are there to give the English uh, instruction. Another tip is have a place in your folder where you write down daily homework. As teachers, we are very busy. So it is very easy to forget about what homework we have assigned. If we forget, well, it's very easy for students to begin to forget about it as well, you know. Include homework review in the lesson plan of the following class. Then you can spare enough time for homework checking. Give students a chance to show off their preparation. Uh, they have done their homework and they want to show this. Uh, this. Let them do it. And you can give positive feedback on a 
job well done, you know, smiling, nodding and saying, well done, what a great work, you know, that kind of thing. Or maybe um, displaying the homework on, uh, um, on the walls, okay? Uh, another tip, try to avoid berating someone for not doing homework. Um, try instead to give those students who have tried to do uh, the homework uh, praise. And that will be a good model for the other students. Uh, negative feedback usually doesn't work. But if if you praise students for um, spending effort and time to improve themselves, the other students may find it motivating and they may also start doing it. Well, another tip here is that homework is an agreement between you as a teacher and your students. Parents shouldn't be involved. It shouldn't be an expectation or a requirement of them, okay? Uh, if they want to help, if they want to motivate their own children, that's okay. But homework should be something that the, the student can do by themselves, okay? Well, I will talk about parents' role in uh, homework assignments in the next next video but this is all for this one thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos as always wish you all the best bye